Hello guys, welcome back to Good Creatives. Well, finally, MIUI is officially out, and in this video, I'll be sharing all new features about MIUI 11. MIUI 10 has done a very great job when it comes to feature, right? Let's record what all more we have in MIUI 11. Well, we have the stable MIUI global version installed on our POCO F1. This flagship is running MIUI 11 which is based on Android 9.0 and currently have the Android security patch level of 1st October 2019. There is a lot more when it comes to MIUI 11 and we have provided the list of all MIUI 11 supported devices with a dedicated guide on the same for all devices that will getting MIUI 11 from the link in the description down below. Also, how to install this build for a device even though if we didn't receive it, the MIUI 11 OT update yet. We will show that at the end of this video. So, before getting started, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you have never missed any future updates. So let's get started. First of all, the MIUI 11 has the new user interface. All the stock apps are redesigned with the skew circle shape and surprises us with a new font. The animations are also more smoother and pleasing. I like it how the animation looks during the phone unlock and while opening and closing an app. Apart from that, we also get the new icons in the settings. They also look super cool at the same time. So, let's go a little more in detail about what's there in settings. Let's have a look at connection and sharing, where you can see this new MI share option. Now, it is very easily share files and supports Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo and Realme devices too. There are a lot of rumors that they are planning to make something similar to AirDrop feature in Apple devices. And well, it's here as MI share in MI UI 11. Now, let's check the brand new wallpapers featured in MIUI 11. Just pinch with your fingers in the home screen. And here, we get the default wallpapers. All these look good, they are more realistic and artistic in one way. Personally, that's what I feel. If you wish to keep it as yours, tape on apply. Let's check more in what we have in the launcher setting options. Let's get back to home screen, pinch again and now let's move to settings. In backgrounds. Now you can see three options such as light, dark and system default. Let's see how great it looks attractive by turning them into dark. Apart from this, it is also possible to change background transparency from the custom layout. The size of icons can be changed to 5x6 if you prefer that. You can even change the size of icon from XS to XL as per your wish. In MIUI level, now it is also possible to delete multiple apps at the same time just by pinching on home screen and choose whatever the bloatware that you want to delete. Drag to delete or hit delete to uninstall all at the same time. Also, grouping apps made easier similarly. Select all apps you need to add and group them in a single tab. Next, the MIUI 11 brings the new system by dark mode. Well, let's see how it looks dark in MIUI 11. Frame display settings enable dark mode. Well. That looks so good. The fact is, dark mode has always surprised us in both stylish look and its other features. But here, I like the fact that MIUI 11 can even schedule the time for dark mode for the convenient time you can set. So let's see how dark mode looks in few more apps like call logs, messages, file manager and more. And you can see even the non computable app were turned into a dark theme like the forced dark mode from the developer options. Now. Let's see how great are these dynamic sound effects featured in MIUI 11 from sounds and vibration settings. In ringtones, this is how it looks. Let's play some music. This is the new UI that you will get in the sound and vibration settings of MIUI 11. When it comes to alarm ringtones, you will get different alarms depends on weather. Or you can even set weekly alarm to change the alarm tune every week. 
there are few more which are morning dew fireflies and daydream similarly events and notifications have tunes such as nature bird nature droplets etc which is most of them sounds really good so far the interface look exactly good in battery and performance now let's check out the most important part how long it can last when it comes to battery well this is how it looks and the statistics of the battery usage no big difference here since from my last charge now my battery is around 77 percentage for one hour and four minute of the regular usage with a screen time of one hour and one minute screen on time can be seen from the screen battery usage the ultra power saving mode is also present which disabled everything except basing apps which also turned your device to dark mode you can even choose to enable regularly using apps even when the ultra power saving mode is on so you can use any apps that you want to use while extending the battery life that's pretty awesome when it comes to battery right there are a lot of updates made to apps miui 11 from even calculators to file manager first let me show you how the not apps are updated adding new task features and here you can add all your daily tasks just by typing them or even with a voice but this task toolbox feature is one of that excite me the most you can enable that from the task settings this will give you a shortcut to view all of your task or even you can add a new one just by swiping from here the calculator app is now featured with this new floating mode which will allow using calculator without switch between apps to do some calculations just tape this icon from here to make it float and you can even change its transparency for a better visual experience there is also a lot more added in calculator subcategory on life and finance for that quick results the file manager app has now updated to support all type of files you can quickly look for files as the app supports thumbnail for all sort of formats and besides that you can open pdf docs or any other office files without requiring any additional app so finally now you might be excited to get these miui 11 features right into your phone and wonder why i don't receive its ota update well we have the solution let's have a look on how to install MIUI 11 on a device even though if you didn't receive the MIUI 11 OT update yet. We have provided the list of all MIUI 11 supported devices with a dedicated guide on the same for all devices that will be getting MIUI 11 from the link in the description down below. You can even search for MIUI 11 ROM for a device from our website just by typing MIUI 11 for a device name. In my case, I am searching for MIUI 11 for Redmi K20 Pro. So, you will get these complete step by step guide to get MIUI 11 on your device with the download links for recovery ROM zip, OTA zip or fast boot ROM files. Some devices still doesn't receive all these three methods to install MIUI 11. So, you might need to choose the one that is available for your device. Installing OTA zip file is pretty simple. First, download the ROM and move it to phone's internal storage. Then, go to settings, about phone and then system update. Here, choose update package from the menu. The system will verify the update and install it automatically. So, confirm to allow installation. If you choose to download the fast boot or recovery ROM, then you also need an unlock bootloader first. I will provide the links for everything in the description. Fast boot ROM can be installed using these steps that we already covered in this video. So check that out as well. To install recovery ROM, first download the firmware from here and copy that file into your phone's internal storage. Now power off your device first and enter into TWRP recovery. Now tape on install, browse the firmware zip file and swipe to confirm to start installing the firmware. Wait for a few minutes to get finished. Once after that, now go back to TWRP menu and tape on reboot. Then tape on system, yes that's it. We have successfully installed MIUI 11 in your device. If you are having trouble while using this ROM or any force stop issues like this, then you might need to make a complete format to get it fixed. 
So guys, that's all about MIUI 11. Do let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section. It's me Shahin, signing off from Get Tips.